Here I'm going to draw a non right angle triangle ABC. So I'm going to call the angles big A, big B, and big C. And the lengths, so opposite big A is going to be little a, opposite big B is little b, and opposite big C is little c. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to split this triangle into two right angle triangles. So I'm going to draw a perpendicular line, so perpendicular to AC. So I've split my non right angle triangle into two right angled triangles. Now I've got B here as the whole length. I need to split that up into two different lengths. So I'm either going to call this side X or this side X. It doesn't matter which way we do it. It's slightly different both ways, but either way, we're going to end up with the cosine rule. So I'm going to say that this side is X. So from my perpendicular line to C is going to be X. If the whole length is B and this part is X, what's left must be B minus X. So I had the whole length called B. I called part of it X. So what's left is B minus X. And I'm going to call my perpendicular line H. So now I've got two right angle triangles. They're both labeled and I'm going to write down Pythagoras's theorem for both of them. So for my triangle on the left, so Pythagoras' theorem says a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So the squares, the sum of the squares of the two shorter sides are equal to the square of the hypotenuse. So h squared plus b minus x squared equals c squared. And for my other right angle triangle, h squared plus x squared equals a squared. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to eliminate h. I'm going to get rid of h so it's no longer involved. So I'm going to make h squared the subject of both of these. So if I take b minus x squared away from both sides, I'll get h squared equals c squared minus b minus x squared. And for my second equation, if I take x squared away from both sides, I'll get a squared minus x squared. So now I've got two things that are equal to h squared, so I can make them equal to each other. So you could think of this as saying h squared is equal to a squared minus x squared. So I can substitute a squared minus x squared in for h squared. So I've got a squared minus x squared is equal to c squared minus b minus x squared. I'm going to get rid of this bracket now. So I'm going to expand the bracket. I'm going to still write a bracket because I'm taking away all of it. I'm taking away the whole of b minus x squared. So I'm going to leave a bracket there just so I don't make a mistake with my signs. So b minus x squared means b minus x times b minus x. So I'm going to expand that now. b times b is b squared b times negative x is negative bx, negative x times b is negative bx, and negative ne x times negative x is plus positive x squared. So I've got a squared minus x squared equals c squared minus the whole of this bracket. So I'm going to think of this as saying I'm taking away all of this bracket 
or I'm expanding the bracket. So I'm going to multiply through by negative 1. So I'm going to do negative 1 times every term in this bracket. So a squared minus x squared equals c squared minus b squared plus bx plus bx minus x squared. So collecting my like terms, I've got, well, I've got two bx's. And I can also see I've got minus x squared on both sides of my equation. So if I plus x squared to both sides, I can get rid of them. So now I've got a squared equals c squared minus b squared plus 2bx. I want to get rid of x. I don't want x in my cosine rule. So how can I get rid of x? Well, I'm going to use cos a. I want cos a. So this is my angle A. So cos A and Sokotoa tells us that the cosine of an angle is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So cos theta equals A over H. So in this right angle triangle with A in, my adjacent is B minus X. And my hypotenuse is C. So cos A equals B minus X over C. If I multiply both sides by C, I'll get C times cos A equals B minus X. And if I plus X to both sides, I'll have C cos A plus X equals B. And then to get x by itself, take c cos a away from both sides. So x is b minus c times cos a. So I'm going to substitute this in for x. So where I've got x down here, I'm going to change it to b minus c cos a. So that leaves me with a squared equals c squared minus b squared plus 2b times b minus c times cos a. So expanding this bracket, so I've got 2b times b, which is 2b squared, and 2b times negative c cos a, so it's going to be negative, and it's going to be 2bc cos a. And all I've got left to do is say that minus 1b squared plus 2b squared is 1b squared. I've got a squared equals c squared plus b squared minus 2bc cos a. Or if I write these the other way around, a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos a. And that is the cosine rule.